Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I got back to where I was before. I didn't turn off the wall light this time just because I don't think I need to. And it did. It actually didn't take long at all to get back here. It, um, it was pretty straight path now that I know where I'm going. Or, now that I know I'm going, as in, I had done it once before. So that's what I was trying to do, is get up here. And for some reason didn't do that auto-grab thing. I just overshot and landed on the spikes, I guess. It was weird, I don't know why that happened. I don't think I need dark vision on. Just because I don't think anything's gonna see me right now. I think I'm mostly just platforming. I got a sneaking sp suspicion I'm gonna teleport on that, and it's gonna push me off. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, never mind. I hear electricity. Like it's one of those uh, zappy turrets. Apparently it's really close. It must be under there. Good thing I'm going up here. I was doing so well. <laughs> I disappeared? Really? I didn't move. I, know something's up. I guess I was right at their level, and not too far away, and directly in front of them. Can't be too surprised. Should I really go right in the elevator? Or should I, like, stand on it? Or some fancy shit? Oh, this looks like a trap. I don't even have the key to get out. Alright, let's do it. Man, I did it with my mind! I think this is the first time anyone on this uh, mission so far got tipped off to my presence. Was uh, the guys I had to dart. And of course some people are going to find those bodies. I think some people already saw them, so they know something's up. And it's sleeping dirt, so I'd assume they'd probably assume it's Corvo. Alright. I think this might be the final confrontation right here. Boy, oh, you don't know how tempting it is to shove you. Ooh. You get some gruesome deaths here. Can I get the switch and... Oh, no, I can't touch the switch. Okay, I was gonna say, can I send the body down? Oh, God, if I were to dart him right now, he'd probably just fall backwards. I could scare the shit out of him right now. Why would you lean on that, you goddamn moron? Oh. Does he know? Because he had a sword drawn. In fact, he still has it out. Does he know? Because if they are able to tell people that something's up through loading screens, then why the hell? Back, I'll earn another promotion. Yeah, they know that I'm here, so how the hell did the party goers inside on the party mission know, and the people outside didn't? I thought it was a limitation to the system at first. No, they just... God. I feel like I can give them less and less credit every day. Alright, turn around. Man, this is some really rudimentary stuff they're doing here, actually. Is he really not concerned about where the the guard on duty here went? Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this. Okay. Uh oh! Did you really fake me out? He totally faked me out. I thought that he was gonna keep moving. This is uh, surprisingly linear. Not seeing any ways I could jump up and blink anywhere yet. Oh, 
Now I am. Here we go. That's not Spike, is it? No, that's like a greenhouse, okay. Just looking around right now. Good points to breach through. Really? I, uh... Can, can I? Oh, it's, it's being weird at this part. Okay, here we go. Could you imagine if this, this glass just broke? Could I actually... No. Apparently it's swordproof glass. How impractical must it have been to build this thing? This structure does not seem practical to me. Ah, damn. I was hoping I could skip a little bit. Maybe up here. Doesn't look like it. Not many guards up here. I thought it was a screaming dude at first, but no, it's just the, uh, wind. Oof. Oh, the balls must take to stand out here. It's like the edge of the world. I mean, this doesn't look like it's the way out. Maybe? Oh, ooh, I might be able to do something here. Anything I can blink on around here? No. Doesn't look like the game wants me up here. Okay. Well, it wants me to go down to the lighthouse, so I guess I'm just going down in here. That well, was fun seeing how high I could climb. Oh, the game wants me to go up there. What's this do? Uh... What's the point of that? Um, no point? No point at all? Okay. Okay. Is there really no reason to go up here? That looks like an elevator shaft to me, actually. Is there an elevator I need to take down there? To get to the very top? No, this is the bottom of the shaft. So the elevator's already up there. Maybe I'm going down there to look for a way to get the elevator to come down and I need to come here later. That seems likely. Damn, then all this uh, awesome parkouring I've been doing is for nothing. That's a shame. I thought I was being sneaky and awesome and finding a alternative route that the game wanted you to hunt for. Remember when this was just a dream shared by a few And you can just pause and read that if you want to. And I won't use this because it'll be loud. Is that a dead guy? Oh, that's Havoc. Samuel, a useless old man, hungry for something. Wait, is that guy already dead? Oh, first of all, yeah, that key. High Overseer Martin is already dead. And Pendleton is already dead. I guess he poisoned them. I probably should have listened to the rest of what they were talking about, but... Yeah, calm down, Emily. Who is that? I got you a present! Corvo! I knew you'd come. Alright, just ignore the body. Okay now? You like the Empress? Your hands are huge. That was it? Oh, that couldn't have been the last mission then. That was Wow, that was short. And anticlimactic and lame. 
do they think that I was gonna want to have a sword fight with them? Like, a really climactic final sword fight? Because why would I? I mean, no matter what way you approach that room, it would be really easy to just dart him. Alright. Well, I took him alive. Are we gonna do anything with that? The end? So ends the interregnum. And now Emily Caldwin the first. No, there's gotta be more. Throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened no, and other it men can't would be. have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age, brought about by your hand. Because I didn't kill many people? Yeah. Is and this seriously hence, the ending? When your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. That's it? Oh my god! That's the second worst ending to a video game I've ever seen! And I'm totally gonna get flagged for this song. Um, I'm just gonna cut out the, the game volume at this point. If you don't know, there is a song playing right now that's probably licensed music that'll just cut out. Wow! The only game I've played with a worse ending than that was Assassin's Creed 1. Um, I don't think anyone cares if I spoil the ending to Assassin's Creed 1. The ending to Assassin's Creed 1 was... You go back into the you go back out of the animus thing, so you're Desmond Miles again, just the the boring guy that you don't care about. And you find that the facility you're in is mostly abandoned, and you walk around a bit and use your eagle vision, and you see a bunch of cryptic writing on a wall that I believe is like just symbols and stuff, and you can't read it. Desmond says out loud, What does it all mean, I wonder? And then it fades into the credits, and it's the worst ending I've ever seen in a video game. This is a close second. What was that crap? That was such a lame final stage. That was so easy and boring and... I... Was that really supposed to be like a final confrontation? I didn't even notice that Pendleton and Martin were dead. I didn't even notice that was them. Like... I, I looked down there, I saw a guy sitting in a, in a chair, I looked over at the other chair and it looked like a dead guy, and then I see, you know, uh, Havelock, which he was marked off, it said he was Havelock, I could tell that was Havelock, and I recognized the voice and everything. He was a little far, but, you know, I got zoom lens. And I go down there, like, I dart one of the dudes in the chair, and that's when I realized, like, he's not alive. And I didn't even know that was Martin until I until I got the tooltip that said it was Martin. I thought it was just a guard because Martin looks so nondescript. Like genuinely, I barely remember Martin. He seemed I don't know. His character seemed really pointless. He was the guy I saved in the first map, right? The the guy who was all chained up that I saved. Yeah. Man, that is lame. Ah. Oh. A few people told me that some of the DLC are, like, extra missions, but that that ending does not make me want to go buy the DLC. Oh. Jesus. Was something else going to happen if I sat there and just listened to his entire ridiculous villain monologue? Like, I'm guessing there would have been an epic confrontation if I decided to just waltz in there and go in loud. I'm assuming we'd have, like, some kind of uh, awesome sword fight with Emily yelling in the background through the door, wondering if it's Corvo. I don't know why she yelled out, like, Corvo, is that you? I silently darted the guy. Why would she think it was me? I don't know. What would she hear of me? I got silent running and everything. 
Jesus. That was awful. All right. Let's pretend. <laughs> Quantic Dream, really? Did Quantic Dream have something to do with this game? That explains a lot. I had no idea Quantic Dream had anything to do with this game. Fucking Bethesda. Quantic Dream, by the way, is a company that is very good at making awful stories. But anyway. Um... My final thoughts in the game. Let me detach the ending from my final thoughts right now, because you already know at great length what I think of that ending. Man, I thought that we still had like two episodes left after this. Um, right, so my final thoughts on the game outside of the, the um, ending. The gameplay, I really enjoyed the idea of it, although I think it definitely was kind of unpolished. And it's funny because the feeling I got from a lot of it, uh, I'll have the music come back on here, and it's just the basic game music now. Um, the feeling I got from a lot of that ending, or sorry, uh, the game in general, is that it felt like it didn't have a big enough budget. It felt like it had really good ideas and was really cool and didn't deliver. You know, like it didn't have nearly as enough polish. There were some really rough edges that kind of killed it. Like, you know, the mission that just glitched out. Some people have told me that they think that I got caught when I blinked into the the stairs. And looking back on the footage, I can see that. That was probably what happened. But it still doesn't excuse the glitch of the lady dying. Uh, I think this is another licensed song. You know what? Never mind. I just won't bring the music back on. Um, it doesn't excuse the glitch of the lady just dying when I was walking near her. I have no idea what happened there. It doesn't excuse how none of the guards outside knew, but all the guards inside knew, magically. It doesn't excuse that the guards knew that I was the real Corvo, but the citizen, the, the, the party goers could instantly pick me out and think I, and know I was the one who did it and yell for the guards. That doesn't make any sense. All kinds of things in that didn't make any sense. And, you know, a lot of people have told me that they've had a hard time getting into this game because of the detection. Because it's really unclear when you'll get detected and when you won't. And I agree with that. I got used to it mostly. There were still some instances near the end where I felt really unaware of being detected and how I'm being detected and from where and stuff. The icon's really small. It's weird. But, like, those are my main problems with the game. My main problems with the game were I didn't feel super attached to a lot of the characters, although I really liked Samuel. There's some of them that I did really like, and I thought Sokolov was interesting. I love the artwork and the design and the style and everything. I thought that was great. Um, the game is really ugly for when it came out. I don't really care much about graphics. It bother bothers a lot of other people more than it bothers me. So it didn't really ruin my personal enjoyment of the game, but I can definitely see that bugging some people. I think the most important thing here, though, is the gameplay and that the gameplay had some serious problems. Like, that one map just broke. It just broke. And when the main objective of the entire mission is to assassinate or knock out and bring to the basement this one lady, and she magically dies when you're in the vicinity, and the whole thing is a guessing game of figuring out which one's the correct one, and the game just does it for you. I walked up, and the correct one just died. And she was the one who I was going to save, by the way. And the correct one just dies in front of me. That mission was just, it broke. It completely broke. It doesn't break on everyone's run through. It's nothing like that, but it broke on mine. And all that matters is that it broke here. And there's nothing I can really do about that. All I could do is reload a save to before it broke. If I had a save before it broke, which with the limited save system shows this is a bad fucking port. I'm on a PC. I have a hard drive. I have two hard drives. I can have as many saves as I damn well please. This is not a console game. And yet when they ported it over from console to PC, they didn't remove the limit on save files. Why would you have that limit there on PC? I want to, like, <sighs> these save files are probably less than a megabyte each. I have three terabytes of hard drive space between my two hard drives. Let me save as much as I want. Why would you limit that? I'm allowed to save whenever I want, so why not get rid of the limit? It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, the, the positive on the gameplay, though, I really like, you know, well, in general, I love stealth games. 
Um, I felt like once I got more of a feel for the c controls, it felt intuitive. It felt nice. I didn't hate Blink nearly as much as I thought it would. I'm definitely still more of a Thief 1 and Thief 2 guy. To a degree, Thief 3. I, I think Thief 3 is a good game. I just don't like it as much. Um, as Thief 2, at least. And fucking the new remake reboot Thief is awful. But I don't know. Um, I, I actually can't, kind of can't recommend this game. <laughs> I've got to say, like, I enjoyed a lot of it, but I don't know. If the game is 15 bucks or less, I'd buy it. In fact, if you go to the description right now, I'll have a G2A referral link to this game, and it'll bring you to the best deal on the game on G2A.com, which you can probably get it for less than 15 bucks. I think the default currency on there is Euro, so you'll just have to Google to see what that translates to for you in wherever you live. Um, yeah, also in the description I'll have a link to the Facebook fan page where you can vote on what game I'll let's play next. I'll have a poll there of all the games that I'm planning to let's play in the near future, and you guys can vote on which one you want me to do next. Thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.